Hello, Ravi here from Llama Index. So in this video, uh, we'll show one of the interesting features of uh, Llama Parse, which is downloading charts that are present in the document. As you can see, if you are working with research papers or any other financial documents, there are a lot of charts that are present in the document. So how can uh, you make sense of uh, these charts uh, uh, by s in your RAG application or whatever? You need to download these specific charts, right? So how can uh, Llama Parse help in downloading these charts? So specifically, we'll use JSON mode in Llama Parse uh, where we have images as well as charts present in it. Uh, now uh, you can use um, uh, one of the function inbuilt function to uh, download this chart automatically so as said uh, the json mode uh, provides a lot of data and metadata for each page of your document including details about your charts and images so we need to start with uh, installing some uh, llama parts and llama index packages and then set uh, uh, your api keys we'll use a recent paper agentless uh, demystifying uh, llm based software engineering agents with where they used the llama index as well and we'll download the charts present in the paper so first let's download the paper here so so this downloaded the paper and uh, you'll have these you can just have a quick check here uh, about different charts yeah so there are some charts here right and then uh, this is also a chart so uh, now let's see how you can download these charts one of these charts probably so we need to first parse the document you need to enable the chart extraction feature and uh, and then uh, insert the parser and parser dot get json result uh, uh, give the path of the uh, paper that uh, we have just downloaded uh, this will take uh, quite some time yeah so the parsing is done we have a json object now we will use uh, the JSON object uh, to download the charts uh, to a folder called charts. So we'll use parser.getChart function uh, to download these charts, right, to a charts folder. So uh, this will uh, get all the charts from each of these pages present. And uh, you can see uh, these charts getting downloaded to uh, the charts folder here. And then uh, once these are downloaded, uh, we'll just take uh, a random chart and plot it here for showcasing. Let's run it. So this is one of the chart that is present in the paper. So you can uh, check all the charts that are downloaded uh, even manually as well in the charts folder. Apart from this, uh, if you want images present in the document, you can use uh, parser.getImages function to download the images present in the document. So you just need to call parser.getImages function uh, using the same JSON object as well as uh, uh, pass the folder name where you want to download it. So once you have all these charts and images, you can uh, build a RAG application since the text is already present in Markdown. You can build a multimodal RAG application and get uh, better uh, responses. So try it out and let us know if you face any issues. See you in the next video. Thank you.